after our blending modes, sorry, we had a little interruption there. So we have our blending modes here, and I like to change this quite a bit. Um, but before I do, let's talk about some things here. Over here, click on that. No, I'm sorry, wrong one. Excuse me, that's what I'm looking for. This is our patterns. And Krita 2.9 comes with all these, I believe, preloaded. If not, there's several websites that offer these uh, these uh, texture patterns. So basically, this is something you're going to put on at the end of your work and change your blending mode to overlay. And that is how you get those different effects. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, so anyway, let's uh, go back here. So that's basically how I got uh, these effects right here. And that's how come we have this nice apple right over here. I can take this and I make it change the opacity and make it stronger or make it, make it weaker. Anywho, let's go back. Uh, so we're going back over here. So then um, unlike Photoshop, uh, these tools are slightly different. We don't actually have any eraser tool. Um, this is your go-to brush right here. It's your paintbrush. Um, and then when you want to erase something, you can click on that, and it's going to use the same tool that your brush is using. Let me let me change things up because I'm not used to seeing things like this. I'm going to hit this over here. I've been tinkering with um, figuring out which ones I like and how to change them, but I've been sticking with Big Paint 2. So we're just going to stick with that for now. Um, da, 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 da. So let's see. Let's kind of show you what I'm talking about. Let's pick um, one of these brushes down here. It's really cool down here. You can hit right over here and you can, let's say you want to use uh, ink tools. Up will pop all your inks. Let's say you want to hit uh, smudging, so which I love smudging. Um, so there's that all of those presets right there. Or you can just hit all to have all of them. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. We're going to just grab this fan brush here and I'm going to use my in here so I'll get this going over here as you can see this right here okay so let's say I want to erase that just hit this button right here and it's going to erase that with the same style of eraser okay all right so just like in Photoshop though I can hit uh, command Z once and I can hit it again unlike Photoshop where you'd have to hit three buttons there. I could just keep hitting Command Z and go back. Or you can hit Edit and Undo. Um, let me add, right over here would be the addition of a layer. So I'm going to click on that and add another layer. So I'll be actually drawing on the above layer, not layer one. Just like in Photoshop, I can double click the name and put um, whatever I want to keep things organized. Um, so let's go over here. So this is my other brush. I like to, my watercolor brush. So we'll go back. What's really cool here is uh, we have, let's say we make this, and we hit that eraser tool, and that is going to erase that in the same style that I put it on there. So it's kind of a nice quick way to erase. Um, another thing we can do, uh, go back a bit, we can click right up here and just click anywhere on this bar, or I can change these numbers here. And we can change the opacity. The opacity. Oh, we're still on erase. Got to pay attention. So we can change the opacity. That's pretty cool. Click this arrow right here, and we can change the flow. I'll go a little bit more in detail about all that stuff later. Or you can change the size here. Kind of neat. Go back in time. There we go. Um, what I really love, I love so much about this program though, honestly. So right over here is the mirror button. So I can go right here and I can draw this. And now I have that. And so let's say I wanted to draw, you know, a person type thing here. So now I've done some sort of weird person thing here, but it, it mirrors things so I can, you know, my little dorky dude. So that's still pretty cool. Um, we'll go back in time, erase all that stuff. 
Uh, we can also do, uh, we'll get rid of that, click on that, and do the same thing that way. Go back and I can click on both of them. And this is really cool if you're trying to make patterns. And I'm just doing really random circles. You know, so I know it's kind of lame right now, but imagine the possibilities. So I'll just click those off. All right, so let's go and touch this button right up here. It's the brush, brush engine, I'm sorry. And what you want to do is you want to right click this brush engine right here. Apple pop this box. It took me a while. I lost this, but I had a heart attack. Hit show scratch pad. Apple pop the scratch pad over here on the right, which is super cool. And let's say I wanted to grab this pencil here and I could practice what I wanted to do here. And say, oh, I like that. I don't like that. Okay. You hit this button down here to get rid of it. Let's say, what's this do? Okay. Do I like that? I don't know. Um, how about this one? Is this cool? Hmm. So it kind of, you can play with the brushes. Um, uh, let's pick this hatch brush. Nope. Grab this one here. Let's see. Oh, there we go. So we got little hatches here, or I can do this one. Or I can do this. In this one. And let's say, okay, um, I can go over here to this deform tool and look at that and say, hmm, maybe I want to change something on here. So we'll change this. Or maybe we'll go all the way here. Maybe we'll change the density. Or the spacing. So basically, and you can hit temporarily save, or you can just go back to your default and it'll change everything back. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, this pixel one here pretty much gets everything up. And so I like to experiment before I do things. I love this sponge brush here. Look at that, it's awesome. Um, let's say in your predefined, we can let's say we want to try something else. Let's try this star thing. Of course, you can obviously change the color. It doesn't always have to be black. Um, let's say we like this, but we want to see what we can do with it. Oh, check that out. Okay. So, default. Um, lots of awesome things you can do here. I'm going to show you a couple of cool things I had here. That, I really like that texture. Uh, blah, 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 blah. There's so many here. Now you can't see this, so I'm going to go over here and change the size so it's a little bit easier. Links, chain links, awesome. Hubcap for a car. Look at those leaves there. I think uh, making a tree, bushes. Pretty sweet stuff here. Um, I like doing that. Kind of scales, bubbles, lots of pre. I don't know what this is here for. Slightly amusing. It just goes to show you the craziness you can go with this. Totally crazy. I could do this for hours. This is just so much fun. Um, so you can just change things here, um, different brushes. This is our uh, paint roller, as you can kind of see. It looks kind of like a paint roller. So much you can do here. I just have so much fun. Um, get rid of this. I just, I just love it. All the, the fun we can have. And don't forget, you can play with the layers and how they mix together and how they react. 
and you can change all this rotation, all that stuff. Um, make snake skin so much easier. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so enough of me going on and on and on about the brushes. I'm sure you're tired of it. Um, let's see what we can do. So uh, I'm going to hit the bracket keys just like in Photoshop to the right of the letter P. I can change the size here. Okay, so I'm going to go go very traditional, grab a pencil. It'll be right up here. This time, why don't, what, what I'm going to show you, uh, get rid of the eraser here. Okay, get my pencil. Let's say I wanted to draw a circle. Yep, bam, I got a circle. Pretty darn simple. Um, want to draw a straight line? Straight line. 